waking up the masses. It's your baby mama's favorite astrologer. Like, can I get five more minutes? Scrape that crust off that third eye and tap in with Hood in the morning. Every morning. From Atlantis to Egypt, you and I tap in with the realest nigga on the internet. The Hood Mystic. The Hood Mystic. raising our consciousness really dealing with the capricorn energy because the capricorn energy is the energy of ascension uh if i'm a backtrack for a second capricorn energy is a point in time in our lives throughout the year where we can see where we have grown and we can also set new intentions for us to reach higher heights uh the symbol of capricorn is the mountain goat and the mountain goat ascends the levels of the mountains to receive particular sustenance and so the ancients took that symbol and used it as motivation for us in our endeavors in our lives as we ascend through whatever hierarchies that we're striving to whether it be employment whether it be losing weight whether it be finances whatever as we gain and we rise and we understand and we overcome those particular obstacles and we defeat that inner saboteur uh this is the point in time that we place those particular intentions uh january 16th to say okay this is my problem and this is what i plan to do to overcome it and i'm not just overcoming it for the sake of overcoming it i actually have a goal and a purpose that i have to accomplish and i can't accomplish this purpose and goal with this nagging inner saboteur so that is the Jupiter and Mars sextile. So that is the new moon, the new moon and the transits and the learning triangle. Um, now we are going to talk uh, Orisha story time. Uh, we're going to talk about Yimo or Yimowo or Yimbo. Uh, this is a deity uh this is not yemoya uh the more famous orisha this is a more ancient deity this is a combination of yemoya and yemoya and obatala and so this is the mother of all orishas and when we discuss the mother of all Orishas, we discuss an aspect of our learning that hasn't been really touched on based upon our upbringing in Western society. Certain deities don't apply to us in this culture because of our condition. So when we discuss other Orishas, they may be in other languages or far off and you have to do your research to really tap into the energy of Yemo. Uh, this is her number is 16. This new moon falls January 16th. She is a primal deity. Uh, so. And really understanding her, let's let's have a little story time. So. Yemoya is the mother, Yemo rather, is the mother of Ogun. And Obatala would go off on missions and expeditions. And when he was off and away, Ogun would rape his mother. Um, and so this happened for years. He was raping his mother, and then the youngest son put Obatala on to what was happening back at home. And he came and he found it and he gave curses to all of the Orishas, starting with Ogun. 
And so Ogun is of service to us for all things that we may need. And this is his burden. This is his curse. So whenever we have troubles, whenever we have obstacles, it's good to call on Ogun and he will be of service to you because that is his burden. That is his role in our spiritual journey. And so he gave Ogun that curse and he also gave Yemo a curse and the curse that he gave her, he didn't curse her. He cursed all of her children. And this caused her to be in a rage. And from this rage, she was no longer Yemo. She was no longer Yimbo. She was now Yemo. Yemoya. And so when we think of mother energy, we think of nurturing, caring, being there for the family. But this is a Western idea of feminine, feminine energy, feminine, feminine energy is the same energy as a hurricane. It is very fierce. It is very destructive. Uh, so when we need to really clear some things up about ourselves, uh, it's good to call on this energy of Yemo so we can have clarity and we cannot be nice with the inner saboteur. We cannot be nice to the things that hold us back. We cannot be nice to the things that hurt us. We have to sometimes be very destructive and so destructive to bring about that transformation. Sometimes we have to tear down everything. And what this energy offers us also is a spiritual mother and not a physical mother. A physical mother is just a vessel for which you are to incarnate on this planet. Yemo, Yemoya represents a spiritual mother, meaning she really understands you. In spirituality, a lot of times we seek guidance from an elder, but sometimes our elders are not knowledgeable with the information that we need. And so this energy is available for us to get that wisdom. And this is not just simple asking ye shall receive. This is you doing what you need to do. Uh, in African culture, the feminine and the masculine is one in the same It's 50, 50. The man is not over the woman. The woman is not over the man. We work together in America. It is not quite that way based upon society and how it's set up. So this energy has been distorted and changed. Yamu brings that fresh, clear perspective of who we are and the energy that we need to tap into for 2018. Let's not forget that this is still a new year and this is still a time for us to really advance spiritually. Uh, there is no reason for us to think that the world is about to end. We still have a lot of living to live and a lot of manifestations to manifest. So let's not project this 2018 into a year of fear. Let's project a year of greatness, a year of transformation. And if we have to destroy those old ideas and those old versions of ourselves that no longer bring us happiness and joy, so be it. And that's what basically the message was that I got from just doing the research on this new moon. So if this helped you at all, uh, please share. Um, if it didn't help you at all, please share because it may help someone else. Uh, once again, the site is www.hoodmystic.com. We deal with a lot of psychology, whether it be couple psychology, personal psychology, astrology, magic mysticism um so check it out it's always new content new videos new discussions um new articles uh, it's a very cool site 
um the facebook page hood mystic spiritual advisory uh is www.facebook.com backslash hood mystic instagram the hood mystic uh email is hood mystic at gmail.com for any information on readings and any spiritual advisory uh so you know i appreciate everybody and anybody who listened and like i said please share uh please subscribe uh, please follow uh because this spirituality is real and it is only growing so once again i appreciate you have a wonderful evening